Oh uh, my just, god. Just have fun. Jordan, we have yeah. a new we have a new generation. And we've got water this time with a few deep fish, okay. and we also start with a monastery. What do you think about that, Dave? That's it makes it very interesting here because Spanish mm. Have a good monastery. If they get their castle up, they can go Inquisition, which makes the monks very nice. But Portuguese monks are cheaper. Also, Spanish have missionaries, I know, but like, like, us vipers trolling. Probably not going to see any of those. Yeah, but actually, both civilizations have something bonuses on the monastery tech. So mm. that's going to be... Oh, interesting to see how that one plays out. We three have boars. three boars on the map as well, and mm -hmm. a little bit of fish, but that one is not that impactful. I think making a dog makes sense in the corner, yes, but mm -hmm. never really contested. Yeah, you make like four fishing ships, and then you just move them along if you can. But yeah. having three boars there is great. You also have berries for the Portuguese, so I think with three boars and berries, Portuguese, you can make... You could maybe make an argument for not going for the dock if you only see like one deep fish along the outside. However, the dock should make sense. That that's something I would really struggle with right now. Well, like and I'm a pro player. Hera like, can't see the you, deep fish, so like. Do you go? Yeah. Do 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 you go for it? Do you risk it? You're gonna have to scout the shoreline. That's probably what he should be doing with his scout right now, is seeing yeah. if there's deep fish. Yeah. It's just like, what is the right decision here mm -hmm. as the Portuguese player? Because you want to, you know, capitalize on the berries as fast as possible. But if you do it, then the dock is going to be delayed. I think I would go for the berries first and then follow it up with the dock. I don't know if that... I think if you're going for the dock, you got to go for that early though, right? And I don't think e they're even going to go for the dock because neither of them see deep fish. They only see shore fish. Yeah. And it's so, like, from their point of view, like, from Viper's point of view, it's so close to the edge of the map that it's so unlikely there's going to be deep fish there. Also, yeah. he kind of scouted the corner, but he doesn't see the fish jumping because part of yeah. that little square is in the dark. So yeah, yeah. neither of them is going to go for a dock here, and they're both just going to go to berries. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. Usually on those maps, I always dock. Because there's always something in the corner. Mm -hmm. Even just, you know, having three fishing boats can make your life so much easier. Well, in that case, if Viper isn't docking, that kind of plays into Hera's advantage. Because Hera gets an additional bonus from being on those berries. Whereas Viper yeah, does yeah. not, so... Yeah. Uh, oh, nice. Nice uh, quick wall shenanigans by Viper. And therefore, he was able to uh, deal six damage onto that scout. And, you know, Dave, Portuguese against Spanish on this map. Overall, I would still favor Portuguese due to the fact that Portuguese just have a little bit of a smoothier build early on. And Spanish, they don't really have anything going for them economically, except the fact that they build faster. Can you go for early pressure here as Hera? You get the outpost immediately mm -hmm. from Viper, which means he has a lot of vision. Yeah. So it's not really a surprise going in against him and also with three boars is a risk that by the time your pressure gets there the spanish are already up mm -hmm. can you justify that's, point. It? that's my question like i think you can justify it yeah okay just because of the fact that you know the gold would be a little bit exposed you would have to have a tower to defend at least and you literally give up all the map control if you allow your opponent to push heavily and into late so yeah i don't think any of the players sees fast gas as a valid option and therefore we see both of them going up bro this uh, board I'm a little bit is trolling viper so hard oh my god this is the four that's he's... like the seventh shot he's done it at. is it is it's just don't kill it thank you it, it, that's this risky thing right because sometimes you as a player just like automatically say okay four villages on the tc then i have to shoot three times mm -hmm. and then bam the boy is dead Okay, so Hera up without Loom again, and it looks like he does that quite oh! often, at least today. Oh, that was so close, dude. Whoa, Viper tried you, to, yeah, he tried to trap that you scout, scared, dude. You literally scared me right <laughs> Sorry, now. I thought dude. something happened. You gotta get I your head in the game, man. You gotta be watching. Apartment. 
You gotta be like, watching. What, bro? If I were just... trapped in Harris Scout, that would have been a big moment. That would have been a big moment. We would have remembered that for years. <laughs> I remembered that moment for years now as well. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, God. I was, you know, I was checking Viper Scout, chilling, and then, whoa! Yeah, well. Uh, Eric can't take that scout engagement either. So Viper has the HP yeah. advantage, which should play yeah. to his advantage. Yeah. Uh, because Hera is going to avoid him. If Viper can take out that scout, that'll be big because they start with the monastery once they get in Castle Age. Viper actually going for both eco upgrades now and still hasn't gone out to stone. So he's going for an archer range and he'll make oh, God. skirms here in defense. And this just doesn't feel great as Spanish, does it? Dave, I honestly think I would not be surprised if Hera wins 3 0 here against Viper. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised by that. Well, at least Viper's going to have Scout Skirm, which is a decent yeah. combo. To yeah. keep him in the Feudal Age for a while, but it looks like he's kind of committed to that by now. Hera will see the Scouts coming in. Viper won't be able to get that Villager. Doesn't even try. The amount of respect that these guys have for each other, like, he doesn't even try. He just leaves. Yeah, it's just like, no. You, you don't have to engage here. It's just like, you know exactly there's something going to come as a defense. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, it's just, just checking. You know, they're, they're playing a little bit with yeah. each other here. Nikov doesn't think you're being supportive enough of Viper, saying he's going to get 3 0. <laughs> Nikov just said you were an awful person. <laughs> That's something Nikov never would say to yeah. me. <laughs> never. No, he said it. I got the. I nah, got the quote, give me a right screenshot. Here. Like I don't buy it. Like, ah, it's just too late, man. It's already Nico, been. Nico, it's already, the Nico chat's moving so fast. No, no, it's no. just too late. Nico, the chat's moving so fast. Nico, Nico would never claim something like that. Oh, okay. He's too nice as a person. He likes me too much. He would never okay. be like that. That's because you're not on in the right time zone to queue against him five times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> if you beat him five times in a row. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> he might have some different experience. Whoa, <laughs> what are you insinuating here? I'm dude? not saying anything. I'm just saying <laughs> it's, a, it's a possibility. Uh, Maybe oh Nikov wouldn't be so nice anymore. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see where you're going. I see okay. where you're going. Okay. <laughs> Viper's holding in Hera. Yeah. And Viper's food eco, it's, it's not looking too bad. He still has berries left over, and right? he can start adding the farms. But think about how much food, or sorry, how much wood uh, Hera's getting while gathering the food from the forage berries. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that we don't see a stable yet from, mm -hmm. from Hera. I'm really surprised by that. He's also very flayed with the farming, something he never... <laughs> usually he's always the first one to do the farming. So I'm a little bit surprised by that, Dave. The Viper got Town Watch, but he still doesn't have enough vision to see that there's fish on the outside. I wonder if you can even dock this with the ice around there. I think you can, right? Pretty sure. Oh, you can, you can for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can for sure. Dave, does it look like it looks like? Yeah, indeed. Hera does, wants does it... to fast castle. He, okay. He will be completely greedy here. Makes sense. This makes Does sense. It? He's got more berries at the back he can go to once he abandons this area. He's fighting he up against care. like he's fighting up against a Spanish opponent that's going all in feudal. Are you really that worried about the Spanish in Castle Age? No. Like you can just keep pushing with your archers. You get up to Castle Age first. You're not really worried about this feudal army. You know he's not going into Kong slightly likely. Just I'm just uh, Yeah, but you know, I'm just surprised because you give up all the map control. And that's something which feels very uh, uncomfortable. Mm. But it is what is uh, what he's going for. He has sold all the stone. And now he just wants to get up as soon as possible. Buy a little bit more food and he's up there. And yep. Viper, he will obviously be a little bit later. But not so, so much, I think. How many forage bushes did we have? Did we have six from each? Yeah, I think it's okay, six. Okay, so it was, each, a, yeah. it was a total of 12. Yeah, that helps a lot. That's 500 extra wood. Well, and you're getting... F four, 400. 
Uh, no, it, let me let me it would be 464, 500, right? 500. 500. Okay. Because one, like, if you have. I think it's 42. It's 42 from each berry, right? So no, it would be <laughs> No, that. let's it not go that direction. It would be 500, yeah. 500, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, I think God, it's 42 three. from each berry bush. I think so. I'm uh, it my should, should be four, 42, yeah. Yeah. This is two idiots like trying 30. to figure out the math on this shit, but <laughs> 500 should be it should be fine. I was about to say, why do we do math on stream? <clears throat> I don't know. Castle Age on the way from Hera. Viper's about to click yeah. up. He does. He's a minute and 20 seconds behind, and he's on stone now. But with Hera having a big military, presumably crossbows, the conquistadors, I don't know how much of a threat they're going to be. However, Viper's still holding map control here with these skirmishers. That's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing, which is so important to him. And he is on stone as well. So he knows exactly he can throw some towers in the, as a defense mm -hmm. if he really needs to. So, and he also sees that the army has not gone out, right? I mean, he can't. Like, Hera can't go out. Mm -hmm. He always runs the risk of losing his archers. So he has to wait until the castle age uh, upgrades are hitting. And that gives Viper a lot of crucial time here. And Viper can get elite skirm. He wants to also doesn't have to pay gold for the blacksmith upgrades which is yeah. not something you think about all the time but it's very very useful as Hera now comes out and he nopes right back to the middle of his base <laughs> doesn't want to fight that and Viper even going in trying to look for value both players have now seen the fish on the outside by the way Hera's yeah. only seen one Viper has seen multiple so maybe Viper takes advantage of that at some point the knight here from Hera is to push back the skirmishers and can in he can escape his base now Man, look at Viper. Oh, God. Viper sacrificing one skirm just to block the knight here. That was just a beautiful move. I've never seen that before. And, uh, yeah, the pathing, you know, for melee units is not always the the best thing here. And uh, now, upon reaching Castle Age, Viper upgrading Elite Skirmisher with Botkin Arrow. And he should be able to defend with the monetary in place as well to convert potential knights go and the elite skirms. Uh, he just answered my question. If Viper, I think Viper's streaming right now. I thought maybe missionary would be the play. Maybe. It is the monks. The monk. yeah. It is the monks, not the missionary. I think missionary but should be able to pick up relics. I think so as well. Yeah. I agree. It would just make Spanish so much more stronger on maps that they're not already strong on i don't think it really improve, exactly. improves them all that much on maps they're already strong on so yeah spanish are like top s tier sif right like it's one of the most picked ones and one ones well for nomad basically at nomad megarandom maybe that's yes it. <laughs> that's it oh uh. So, forward siege push from Hera. I, I love to see that because, you know, Hera has that, how, how would you say, this reputation that he is the best defensive player, but he mm -hmm. can play extremely offensive as well. Yep. I think it was, uh... God, I can't remember what, it was on Four Lakes or Cross or whatever. I can't remember what tournament it was against Vinchester. Where Vinch was trying to like boom up and Hera was just all in knights and he was like 30 vils behind and he just yeah. washed over Vinchester basically with like four stable production. His Burgundians, yeah. I believe, it was his sieve. So he has that potential to just all in and that's kind of what he's doing right now to an extent. His eco looks okay behind it. It's actually yeah. pretty well I set mean, up, but Mangonel's crossbows, knights, Viper's struggling. He definitely struggles. Redemption is in for the monks, though. And that is just a huge, huge thing. Now, oh, he what? gets it! Nice what? conversion. That conversion was so quick. I've never seen such a high, uh, fast conversion. What was this? Okay, Manganel goes down. That was a good micro by Hera. 
And now those skirms are a little bit exposed, aren't they, Dave? Mm -hmm. Bunch of those knights are weak, though. Harry needs to be careful, because of that TC. Also converting the Mangonel. Nice little dodge there from Viper. Do you see the step back with the skirms? Yeah. As yeah. he was being attacked by the knights, that was beautiful there from Viper. Now he's got skirms to push back the crossbows. And he's got monks to convert the siege or the knights. And Hera needs to leave. And Viper's getting a castle up. Viper, 54 villagers against 49 from Hera. And Hera's now getting the plus two. But his eco, not really going to compare to Viper's. This Viper goes for a third TC now. Yeah, and also a heavy plow and Bosa incoming for Viper as well. So he's setting himself up very, very nicely with the castle he's going to be able to defend. Very good as well because the, mm -hmm. the Conquistadors, they are always going to pose a big threat against siege units, right? Mm -hmm. uh, especially the Mangalon and Scorpions here. I think So Hera, he cannot really do the lethal push anymore. I think the best thing the skirt or the conks are going to give you here is scouting and kind of denying Hera expanding. If you bring them over to the north or the left side of his base, the conks can be really useful for that. You don't want to yeah. go like heavy, heavy in the conquistador. I feel like because Hera has the crossbows already and monks. Yeah. They should be decent. Also, Viper. I mean, could make an argument for making a dock now some fishing ships but i don't know if he's gonna think of that <laughs> even when the game is finished dave is going to talk about the water <laughs> it's just if you have excess wood it's just kind of like free right yeah i know <laughs> so he's going for a tc viper has scouts over there doesn't see it though he i think he will see it because uh, he's patrolling all the way comes the conk he's as well all the way down. yeah and here and, comes yeah, the conquistador he God. Oh boy, that's unfortunate for Hera. Just as he was yeah. thinking about expanding his eco, Viper's there. Yeah, and that's something, you know, one of the biggest strengths of Viper. He always do, does those small things, in quote small, that have a big impact on the game as well. And you know, it doesn't only change the game itself, but also mentality-wise, yep. it has an impact on you as a player because you're like, oh god, this, this now, guy is one uh, step ahead. Oh, Harry just got two Mangonels converted. Oh boy. He does take out one of them. He's going to take out a second one here. The Light Cav are running in though, and they're dying. And Viper is still defending, and Viper is still denying that TC over there to the north of Hera's base. Now he comes in with the Conks trying to snipe the Mangonel. He can get Inquisition if he wants to keep his monks converting the Mangonels. I don't know if he's gotten it already. What is Inquisition again? That's faster forget. conversions for the monks. A faster conversions? Yep. Wow. You didn't know that? For no. Spanish? No. Like... I no. know nothing about this game, apparently. They. Every time I cast with you, I learn new stuff. I know. Camels getting destroyed by cataphracts. That's why I never attend quiz shows. Did you do one of those quiz shows with uh, Nelson? Mm, mm, I did once in the boot camp, and uh. there I was very lucky with the questions. Ah. These conks are so annoying. Oh boy. And look, it forces all of Hera's army back. I don't even think this army from Hera can clear up those six conks. I mean, there's two oh, weak ones in there, but plus yep. two armor on the on the full HP ones with bloodlines. Gonna be pretty tough. Fervor now coming in for Viper. Fervor? Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what is... I mean, Dave, look at the village account. Already village discrepancy. Yep. Like, what is going on there? Well, I mean, Hera That's didn't huge. add that second TC because it got denied, right? Viper's been yeah. on 3 TC for so long. Yeah. Imperial Age on the way and for Viper now, and, and now it's just it just feels over. Yeah. Although he's going I, I in for think... that TC, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but even then, even if that TC... Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Like, monks are there to convert the siege. And you can use the town center for uh, garrisoning all the time as well. Uh, it's just... I mean, there's this nice raid happening in the south. Yep. With those knights. But, oh, in the front, the skirms getting some hits on them. But uh, the lead of Viper is just a little bit too He's gonna get uh, both high, the knights. I would say. 
Both the knights, one of the knights killed by the crossbows before it can snipe that Mangonel. More monks coming forward from Hera. Hera is still far away from Imperial Age. We look at his food eco. 13 on food right now, Jordan. 13 on that food is... for Hera. So that is unfortunate. And he still has really nothing to deal with the conks in the north. Just one monk over there. Man, the monks have been converting since ages. Okay, now finally they, they, get, they get the conversion, but... Dave, would you agree that monks are the most tilting unit in the game? I think they make the game amazing, though. I really like the the niche that they fill. Yeah. I, I think, like, it's a risk-reward type of system, and it enables huge comebacks similar to the market. If if I see... if Okay, there's... If I see any player, and I might, you know, be unfairly targeting Nikov here, who's in my chat, uh, complaining about market or monks, I know that their play style is pretty boring. It's <laughs> <laughs> a hot take. It's a hot take, yeah, yeah. but it's an honest one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can understand it. Like, you would not say that people like Huang or Doubt are uh, boring in terms of their play style, right? Yeah. GBV. G. What does that G -G mean? GBVG. GBVG. Like, I'm, not, I'm not a mother language. That's the speaker. acronym for the steroids that Viper takes before he plays <laughs> a game like this, and he's just letting Aaron know. It's GBVG. That's what I'd say. I, mic I micro dose that shit. <laughs> and then I'm able to beat you Spanish against Portuguese without YOLOing into conks. Great play from Viper there. Really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. Hmm. I was just a little bit surprised by Hera not going for scouts here because he gave up all the map control and mm. let it, you know, you know, vi let Viper take it. And I think even though you're so close together, I still think it's an uncomfortable situation to be in. Mm -hmm. Now people make fun of me because I said I would not be surprised that Hera wins 3-0. Well, I mean, it was, a, it, it was just Hera trying to FC with crossbows, getting a, like his ego getting a little bit too far in front of him, maybe. Thinking that once he got to Castle Age, he could just manage all the micro or manage all the army from Viper and push back. <laughs> um, but Viper doing a great job with the skirms just to hold him in, not letting yeah. him hit that timing window. Yeah. Yeah. And also, it. it Definitely helps in those situations to have a monastery up already because the crossbow player will always add a few knights and the skirmish player he wants to get monks out as soon as possible to uh you know convert those knights. Did Harry and, need the knights? Uh, Did he need Harry, them? yeah well you don't know how much your opponent commits onto uh, You could just the, go a few scouts. You could go a few scouts. I guess you have to add the stable anyway, so why not make the knights, I suppose. No, yeah, usually you play it like that, yeah, because the knight is just, you know, a little bit stronger. And the scouts, you have to invest a little bit more food in but that But then regard. you can, the, the advantage with the scouts is that you can have them before you get to Castle Age, so you can start pushing out so your army is in That's position. That's true. Yeah, yeah. When they get the crossbow upgrade, right? So, yeah, oh. yeah. <sighs> It's tough, Dave. This, you know what I love so much about this game? What? It is so complicated. It is so complicated. Sheesh. I think it's And you easy. know, when, when, when you reach a certain level, then you understand how complex and difficult it is. And then you start to enjoy it. The dumbest if thing you about say, this for game... Example, is like knowing that it's complex at a low level, thinking you figured it out, and then realizing you know nothing, and then doing that like seven times as you get better as a player. Yeah. Yeah. You it's always just... think you figured it out until someone beats you real bad, and you have no idea yeah. why you lost, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing, where you're like on the top of the, of the mountain, right? And it's like, okay, I, I got everything figured out. Then someone beats you down to the coast. And it's just like, fuck. Yeah, and then you got to go coast the mountain all over again. Yeah, 
and yeah. that's seven times it's just not a good experience the, all know? over again no no that's why i never go coast to mount <laughs> okay Dave, Eric, you are you way too to comfortable here, dude. One, you are man. way too comfortable here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I was dealing with my chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I thought you were laughing. <sighs> Some people just get too comfortable in my chat, you know? They think they can say anything they want. I, I know. I know. Way too comfy. So, sometimes you just have to establish those uh, boundaries. Get the paddle. Right? That's right. Get the paddle. <laughs> get the paddle. <laughs> Slap him around a little bit. Let him know. <laughs> what What is your way of showing the the paddle? Like, what do you do? Banning or just There's like a ban yo. hammer? There's calling them out on stream. Um, did, usually did they get you, impacted by that. Yeah, I mean, usually you can do it. Sometimes I get frustrated. If I'm frustrated, then I'll then I'll out them right away, or I'll just ban them. But usually yeah. you can do it in a sense where people like do it in a fun way where people realize that they maybe went a little bit too far. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. So like if, if like if all of the shit I said online as a preteen and a teenager ever got public, I'm canceled, bro. Like I'm uh, really? so I like probably and probably you would be too. Like just think about no. the internet back when we were kids. Think I was about super it. nice always. I like. I'm not even exaggerating. I was always super nice. You're an anomaly. <laughs> I know. That's what my mother taught me from early on. <laughs> yeah, what is also what is going on with these birds in the center? I have no idea. Did you did you know? By the way, super super interesting information. When you're in the game, yeah, you can follow a bird. Yes. Did you know that? Yes. Why am I telling a custom scenario player new things? There's of more, course you knew it. There's more birds joining them. There's currently, there's four birds now. Nope, three, four. Okay, now we got four. Can we get five? Nope. Maybe, maybe five coming up here. Fifth, six, Six. seven, maybe seven birds. Seven. But there are seven, only four eight, of them are going eight. back and forth. Only four of them are going back and forth. We got to get another one mixed up in this. Oh, it's so close. It's nine now, no, no, yeah, nine. Yeah, but like they got to join the party. There's only four of them in the on the dance floor, you know. The other ones are just very casual about it. <laughs> They're ca joining every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> can Can you explain that behavior to me? I think birds because get I'm stuck on lost. things. They definitely get stuck on things. So we got four stuck here, and then we... Oh, the other ones are in a line. I see what you were looking at. I was fully zoomed in. Yeah. Just the four yeah. bouncing back and forth. They're in a line. Very interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Aliens. Yeah. There's a pyramid. There's birds. There's a relic. Has to be aliens. God. I, I think I've not seen something like that. I... Yeah, I've seen something similar, but... Not quite to this extent. That is wild. Yeah. They will split up at some point, hopefully, because I will won't they? be able to focus. The imperi or, sorry, <laughs> feudal, feudal Age coming in from Viper now. <laughs> Hera getting loomed, so he's going to click up with 20 population, and Hera's gone for Khmer, Viper's gone for Franks. I didn't even notice the Civs. Not lying to you. The funny thing is that they're already advancing to Feudal Age, and mm -hmm. uh, we haven't casted anything yet. It's fine. We didn't need to. It's a yeah. boob. Yeah. That's true. Look at the gold and the stone for Hera. Yikes. I hate the match. <laughs> They're so ugly. I mean, he's going to be able to defend him, but... The, the stone is somewhat acceptable. Yeah. The gold is completely disastrous, and it is as front as it can be. Mm -hmm. And Viper's gold and stone looks almost as close as dis disgusting, doesn't it, Dave? Where is Viper's... Viper has the map hacks, dude. Viper's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay, so Dave, yeah, walk us through it. Hera <laughs> with Kamer against Viper with Franks. I think hmm. the key here for Hera is not to overthink it. Uh, but he's going for an archer range approach. 
And he won't end up making the barracks here, which is interesting because Viper is Franks. A lot of times if you're playing Khmer against Franks, you'll see them go for the barracks even though they don't need it. Just to have some spearmen involved. And I think that should be the case here for Hera. I don't think he should get cocky and play this without spearmen and fuel age. Yeah, that, that's the big issue, right? Because the best counter, I feel like, against this approach from Hera is stable opening. Mm -hmm. Because uh, Hera cannot mix in any spearmen right now. And Franks even have more HP on their mm -hmm. scouts as well. So and Viper's already being really so annoying. So annoying yeah. with these scouts. Like, he's here early, yeah. sees the range from Hera. Hera finally gets it up. By the time Hera starts producing archers, Viper already has two scouts on the field with another one in the queue. Hera can jump in that house and save the vill. But I feel like we're going to see a whole lot of this. Hera yeah. just micromanaging his eco to keep it safe. And s yeah. without the ability to make spears, he doesn't have the ability to push Viper. Exactly. And that is the big issue for him. And now the archers... They can't hop in the houses. Yeah, exactly. And you will never be able to get the amount of archers you need. Yeah. As the Khmer play now. You need a barracks. If you're going to play you archer range with Khmer, especially at these distances, you need a barracks. And Viper's yeah. just going to kill another villain. Viper can... I think if you're in Viper's shoes, you can even make an argument for just adding a bunch of farms right now and even going a second stable if this continues. <laughs> like, if you yeah, don't yeah. see a, a barracks yeah. from... From Hera, he just keeps spamming scouts because he doesn't have he doesn't have a response to it. And there's For another sure. bill. Dead. And you know it's 25 villagers, Dave, against 22. And look at how oversaturated the gold is. Yep. Uh, I think I think Hera might be a little bit tired here. Just a little bit. Viper actually adds an archer range instead of a stable. So scout skirm yeah. is still pretty good against the yeah. guy. You know, going archer range, and now even if uh, Hera adds a barracks to help his archers out with the archer range there, your skirms or archers can take care of the spearmen, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know what the thought process here was for Hera. Maybe he De thought definitely... Viper would play greedy. I don't know. Yeah, definitely interesting to see that uh, out, out play here. And now also on the berries, the four scouts are going to have a field day. Yep. Another villager goes Can't down. Can't get in. Yeah. At this point, Hera must be a little bit frustrated with the way yeah. things shaped out here because he doesn't have the initiative as well. I think he's going to be pissed off with that gold position. Because mm. he's kind of, if that was in the back, maybe he could have walled it off earlier. But he was forced to go for that front wall. To protect yeah. the gold. But still, I mean, it, regardless of the gold position, you'd still be in a, a similar spot right now, playing no barracks against scouts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Herod gets, uh, you know, he does some scouting here in the back of the base. He doesn't know the forest yet of Viper, but at this point, it doesn't look like he will be able to uh, leave his base anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Skirms are about to hit. Oh no, archers even. Wow. Archers. I'm surprised Viper went archers and not skirms here. I, I don't. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised by Your that. Your scouts well. can take care of the villagers. Like, you don't need something yeah. to snipe villas down. You need something to counter any spearmen or archers from Hera. But I mean, the, the archers are harassing the wood line. The scouts are keeping Hera's archers at bay for the time being. And yep. Viper is now finally starting to add in some farms behind this. Yeah, that was up. super necessary because if you l take a look at the food count, yep. 400 in the bank for Hera, while Viper only has 24. So this looks very promising for Hera in that regard. And he is also going for market here. So I don't know, Dave, I felt like this is going to be a very quick game, it but Hera might make something happen here. And I felt like Viper would be in a much better position economically if he had just kept adding scouts. Because he would have added farms earlier. Didn't need to go for yep. that range, right? And his farms were so late that now Hera is probably going to click up to Castle H first. And Hera's hitting the market now too. So Hera's going to try and come back into this game with a really quick Castle Age. Viper's still Which providing some able. pressure. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Hera has an army suddenly. And yeah. still has the walls. 
And Viper is going for armor for his scouts. Wow. Yeah, it will be full fuel age play. I think he needs to go for a forward tower. Forward tower onto the archer range. That that's that's the play day. If Maybe. he does that, he has great chances. If he doesn't do it, Hera will most likely win. I don't think Viper's gonna YOLO into it. Oh, there's the tower on the wood line. Okay. No tower on the gold. I don't like journey. the wood line though. It has it has to be on gold. Absolutely has to be on gold. And it's only one villager too. Okay, there's the it's second one, one coming. <laughs> Oh, that's a bad tower. I don't like that tower. Can't Hera, like, if he knows the archers are on the left side, he can just hop in that house, hop out the other side with the vill, and wall them in. Yeah. In theory, yes. Now, those are archer numbers. Eight. These scouts have armor. He needs to. Yeah, he needs to kill all of them. But that's going to be a tough task. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is that tower by Viper? I don't understand that. Hera will drop a stable, and he will have enough to make a bunch of knights. He doesn't have the armor or anything for his knights, though. Yeah. So the knights are going to be fairly weak against a big group of archers plus the tower. You're going to need a couple knights to clear up the scouts, unless you damage them even more with the archers. But you will be able to upgrade the crossbow. You will be able to get Bodkin. And yep. this army is going to be pretty deadly. In Castle Age until Viper gets there, and Viper still hasn't clicked up. Dave, I'm amazed by Hera's ability I, to go up to Castle Age that I fast. I mean, yeah, but like at the same time, Viper, he was so late to add the farms. Yeah. So late, so he, I think he could have been up like two minutes earlier. If he had played it differently. It's still, he's still in a good position, don't get me wrong. I mean, he just killed a villager on the wood line, and now he's clicked up to Castle Age. He just needs to burn two and a half minutes. Without losing a ton of villager numbers, is he in a good position? I don't like his position. I, I is like his the crossbows of Hera. He's gonna spot him though. Yeah. I'm really curious now how that one is going to be played out, because yeah, village of ice he has a huge huge lead. You don't have to think about that, but does the crossbows they will show themselves to the scout. Most yep. likely. And then he still has these scouts from behind. So if he wants to kill time. Oh, does, does he see that? He, he goes for a tower. He goes for a tower. Went for a defensive tower. He hasn't seen the crossbows in a while. They're going to show up at the wood line. Hera is going to get at least like three or four vill kills here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, God. Viper. That definitely hurt. Mm -hmm. That definitely hurt a lot. I mean, one crossbow goes down in the process. But uh, this is definitely not the best situation to be in for a Viper. Mm -hmm. He has he has a couple of towers here to defend. That's nice for him, of course. And he should be able to clean that up in Castle Age then. And then Viper is again in an okay position. Hera and he keeps... has also been annoying a lot with the five yeah. scouts in the front. Harry keeps moving. See that low HP villager on the farms? He keeps moving yeah. them to different sides <laughs> for wherever Viper is attacking. Yeah. Nice he knows exactly how that feels like to get yeah. this knife. And I love that. Okay, Viper will go for bot canary right now. Will that? So he gets the extra range. Will that range the gold? I think the tower range is a so. little bit more of that gold because it can kind of hit that far tile. And I think it's going to range a couple of those builds now. And Hera is really oversaturating that. He can't go back to the back golds because the scouts have been lurking around there. He's now sending his crossbows in once again to pick off two farmers from Viper. Also sending the knight in to make things messy. But Viper is looping around with Light Cav, Jordan. Viper is looping around with Light Cav. And Hera's woodline is completely exposed there. Oh, God. Who, who's leading right now? Oh, he doesn't see the... He doesn't see the four, uh, the the wood here. He's still going that's back to massive. the berries and the gold. He thinks Hera's going to expand massive. out that way. He yeah, didn't see massive. that. That's huge, dude. Oh, yeah. Viper. And now the gold from Viper. Hera's back there with the crossbows. Viper does notice, though. Yeah. I love this. A lot of action is going on. The tower is getting some good damage on the, the crossbows. 
and man the light calf. They were so close to find lethal damage. But uh, fortunately for Hera, a Viper went to the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. And now it looks like a very equal game here, Dave. Hera's still being annoying with those crossbows too. Viper, at some point, Viper needs, needs to clear that up. That is such yeah. an annoying army. And now he's sending the four knights back. That'll give Hera time to kind of rest and recover in his own yep. economy. Uh, but Viper definitely need, needs to do this. Shouldn't send the weak yep. knight in there either. <laughs> it's like he's listening. <laughs> Brings her back. And Viper doesn't have double blood axe. What? Yep. That's not typical for Viper, is it? Mm -hmm. It's not something you see every day from him. And Viper must be like, where is his wood line? He should know, where dude. He, he should know that it's there. Yeah, but he, he's it's process like, of elimination. Okay, the low HP guy's gonna die here. And Harris losing them. farmers. Oh man. He loses a lot of them. He doesn't notice. He's on the market right now. He's on the market, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. And Viper just continues to be annoying here. He continues to be annoying. Ah. Uh. Hmm, I'm not sure, Dave. We have 45 villagers for Viper and 36 for Hera. Mm -hmm. So clearly a huge lead for Viper. It felt like the last minute has been very positive for him. Yep. Viper is also looping around with the knights to the woodline now. But his light cav are not in position to snipe any monks from Hera. However, Hera only has one monk there. Yep. Viper might lose the villager on the tower. He does. They're managing to take that out, and Hera's saving a weak knight as well, and he's going to try and convert a knight from Viper. Delete it. Knights are coming into the wood line. That's huge. That's, That's massive. so massive. Yeah. Hera reacts, though. Doesn't lose a villager. But the knights can come into the gold now. Looks like that tower took out two villagers on the gold, so it could wow. range the edge of that. The light caver coming in for that monk from the other direction. Hera trying to quick wall that in and save it. And the knights are still pressuring, and the light cav aren't in! Hera managed to get that quick wall down to save the monk, Beautiful but he's going to sacrifice some villagers along the way. Yeah. And man, that knight at uh, Viper's gold position was standing there all the time on stand ground. It did not attack any villager. Mm. It could have at least killed two, three villagers. That would have been nice for him, obviously. Yeah, taking one more villager down before it dies itself. But after all has happened, we see 20, yeah, it's just... 20 army for both players and uh, just more economy. Too many fires oh, to put out, like the two conversions on the night too. You know that army is still to the right, you're still chasing it. There's an army under your TC. Your counterattacks aren't doing anything. The monks are still alive. It's, it's yeah. too many fires, Jordan, and not yeah. enough, not yeah. enough water for yeah. Hera. Yeah. Just problematic for him right now and at this point i guess the best choice you can go for is go for a complete all-in but it's it's really hard to do because viper has been so active with all the raids and the monks don't really work in his favor too much as well and now those four knights are going to do so so much and hera drops down in population more and more and like, viper takes home the second game crazy game Honestly, the fact that Harry even made that competitive is amazing. I just, yeah. I, once again, I kind of like, I feel like Viper, do you think he almost like respected Hera a little bit too much going for the archer play there instead of just going to skirm and expanding his farm eco or going like heavier in the scouts? Mm. It's kind of, it's kind of a little bit strange. He was so slow yeah. up to Castle H, so slow to get his farms down in the beginning. And I think that gave Hera a chance. I was a little bit surprised as well, especially after we saw how good the beginning was for mm -hmm. him. He was able to deny the gold income. He was able to kill one archer at least, uh, the first one already. So there are so many things that work into your favor. Just adding, uh, you know, scouts seemed the natural process there. And yeah, by adding the archer range, he delayed himself quite heavily. And Hera made made it super, super competitive, even though it was so bad at the beginning. Hera frame. had more resources collected that game. What happened there? How? 
He had less villagers. I guess it was just like the market selling that yeah, yeah, it's pushed him ahead, selling. but still. <laughs> Viper it was had the still superior super eco that it, that entire time. I guess the double bed axe coming into play. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a huge thing. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy, but, man. Also, Viper actually, uh, which I haven't seen in a very long time, higher average EAPM. I know the stat doesn't really mean that much in general, mm -hmm. but over Hera, which I Viper usually averages like low nineties. Yeah. So that's kind of. Means he was moving a little bit that game. It 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 was a very action packed game, and mm. that's also the reason why I love Haboob so much because it kind of forces the action. There's no way you can fully wall. Yeah, it, it's just not gonna happen, right? So you have to play on at least two, three fronts, and that's something which really puts the players to the test. Okay. So it okay. might be a 3 0 for Viper. <laughs> Even after you said it was probably going to be a 3 0 for. And I quote, guys, this is what Jordan said. He said, it's definitely going to be a 3 0 for Hera. What do you say? What? That's, what? Why are that's, you quoting me like that? I was that's saying, how I, I would remember not be it. Surprised. And then you have a bad memory. Bro. I was saying, I would not be surprised if Hera wins 3 0. That's Bro, exactly what I was saying. I'm just stating my experience. Okay. Are you devaluing my experience? I'm questioning the top of your head. Fine, you won't get an answer. Nothing there. <laughs> when we were gassed in Coastal Mountain, mm -hmm. you were saying you didn't have too much on the top of your head. And yeah. now you're gaslighting me like that in front of some people. Really? <laughs> Just trying to help you improve. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Can't be making three O calls about your teammate, dude. I always do that with doubt, so I was like, yeah, let's see if the Vipers go. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't work that well. Ah, <sighs> Dave. Yeah. Next game should be. Let me check. Arabia. I'm glad you have the map list because I don't know where to find that. Uh, Arabia should be the next one. Is and there like a map draft there... after they just pick? Like before they No, run? they pick. They pick. Okay. They don't have a map draft there. Okay. And I think for Hera we'll see Burgundians. And mm. for Hera we will see, I don't know, Britons or Gujaras. Let's see. Okay, they've started. And Hera is going to use his first pick here, Dave, which is going to be Poles. Poles. And Viper. I will play Ooh, Britons here. The classic, right? Viper Britons on Arabia. Yeah. Name a more I iconic like Civ combo right there with with the yellow color as well. It's just yeah. classic. Yeah. Uh, would you say that Britons is more attached to Viper or to Lyrie? I'd say I'd say Viper. Just from my personal really? experience, I'd say for attachment to Leary. I, I have so many memories of the, like, Red Bulls. So when I think of Leary, I think of, like, Ethiopians. Because he was the, the only player that managed to win with Ethiopians in, the, in Empire Wars. Everyone else lost with them in the main events. Oh. And that's what I think of. Oh, okay. Like, for me, Leary and Britons is one, one thing. You know, they have yeah. merged with each other. But like Viper Britons is just iconic. Dude. It's just it's just iconic. I don't think you also as... you I also cast yeah. for many for many years or a couple mm -hmm. years at least that you weren't really active in playing, right? So I have a lot yeah. more I think I have a lot more memories of like Leary not being around and Viper being around. Yep. Go ahead. So that's that that, that was just my point. Okay, so you're saying you're way more experienced than me to make a statement like that. I'm just saying there's a big discrepancy between our years that we've been active, right? <laughs> the good old discrepancy, man. Yeah. <laughs> and every time I say discrepancy, I have your <laughs> mouth or your... What are you doing with my... Wait mouth. a second. <laughs> my mouth... Hang on. 
let's let's move along. What what what? <gasps> What's happening? Let's move along, Jordan. One sec. First full work already coming up for Hera. It's a nine villager start. It does it doesn't load for me. The game doesn't load for me. Wait, you're still not in the game? No, the game doesn't load for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm in not, the game for four minutes, bro. I'm not even kidding. Like, I've been loading on the loading screen for four minutes. <laughs> I think I will abort. You got to restart. You can, you can, I, okay. Now, the way you fix this, I think you, you load into another game, different game from spec dashboard, right? And then you load into this one again. You load into a game, exit it, then you load into this one again. Okay, awesome. It's I fine. have closed it's fine. Nothing's, nothing's happening yet. Fine. I thought so. God, I was, you know, it gives me when mm -hmm. you're starting the game, mm -hmm. it gives you the starting sounds like bird flying, for example. Yeah, and right? then it just repeats and it, it over and over if you can't get into that. It repeats all the time. Yeah, and I was I wondering, is it Dave? Is it Dave that gives me those noises right now, or what is it? No, I'm not making bird noises. Oh. I thought you were. But apparently, it was my game. Okay, I'm trying to load in again. Let's okay, hope cool. this time it works. Cool. I will give you an update. Very peaceful. Has anything oh, happened like already, point. Dave? Um, no. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Okay, let's we're go. In. Let's speed up. Let's go. Viper's about uh, to go for a drush here, and it looks like it's gonna be no. It's a men at arms push. Britons going for the third militia, Jordan. If you speed up, you'll get there soon enough. It's big action here. Big exciting action. Only seen on Jordan's Medieval Brawl number one, J JMB season two number. JMB season two, week one. Edition one, please. Edition one of Thank the week. <laughs> the week <it's> edition one. <laughs> I thought you were being nice and then you make it fun. Really? And really? Uh, Hera is going for some uh, MBL level walls here. As he tries to secure range, his man. base. He also went up with no loom, I believe. Yeah. That was great from him, and Viper's gonna head on over to this full work. Dave, I have caught up, by the way. Okay, cool. Seven minute thirty-five. So Just Viper saying. can actually maybe pick a villager, but his scout is a little bit out of position. He can't block this. Men at arms upgrade is coming in. He can kill this vill. No, he can't. No, he can't. Polish villager. Man, and he lost, and he he lost quite a few HP on the mm -hmm. scout as well. So that was. That was, uh, you know, a little bit tough for Viper. He gets two sheep, though. Yep. And if he... He wants to lame those. So he really takes this one serious. Not like you, Dave. Making fun of JMB. I wasn't making fun of JMB. I was just trying to get the right thing. Look at Hera's eco. This is a disaster. Just look at the villagers roaming around. Yeah. There this, are villagers this everywhere. Looking, Holy. This isn't looking good. I mean... He has horse color, right? So he will be able to get food very heavily or very fast again, but he will definitely have some ILTC time, that's for sure. And we're chasing back the scout from Viper. Viper adding in some archers behind. He's not really pressured to wall off super quickly right now, so he's just going to do it slowly with house vaults. Yep. That's quite nice because it's going to be a lot more secure than just a palisade. If you manage to get those down, and I think the men at arms are going to buy you another. Plus your scout, plus the spear, plus the archers, another like three or four minutes to get the walls. Yeah, for sure. Like, Viper is not under any single threat right now. And uh, Hera, he will try to get fletching now as well for his uh, skirms, I would assume. Uh, it just feels like the sword was very, very nice for Viper. The scout is being lost now, though. And uh, yeah, he will he will get the balls down. He, he doesn't have double bid X, Dave, and that's something I'm uh, surprised oh, about because he's Mr. Greed. He's Mr. Greed himself. I mean, it worked for him though. Maybe Where are you talking like, from, by the way? I uh, sorry, my my headphone cord was wrapped up against my chair, so I had to undo it. Okay. Otherwise, okay. I would like, you know, I, my head was like leaning down, like tilting down because I couldn't go any further. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's annoying. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I Harris, get you. Harris playing this greedy. Viper, yep. I would say he's playing greedy, but he doesn't even have horse collar or, or 
double bit axe. So <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is something you don't really see too often from him. Um, I I'm just wondering where will Hera place the next four work, Dave? Do you have an idea? Because I really struggle to see mm, a good place for that. I think you delete, you delete the, the walls, walls on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. And then you wall from that wood line to the edge of the map. No. And you just slow build it out. No. No. Harry didn't even get fletching. Like he's not concerned about any pressure from Viper. No, he's fine. Viper he's getting chilling. double bit axe big. Yeah. This is actually super big. Mm -hmm. This she said. <laughs> I love the fact that everyone makes those kind of jokes. Going coast to mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Going coast to mountain. <laughs> Whatever that means. Uh, have you ever, like, you, you could try it out and see what reactions it has as a following. No. Like, why not? Because, why, w why would I? You, you could go into the bar and say, hey, a German told me I should go into the bar and ask a girl if she has ever gone coast to mountain. And Fine, just I'll see the tonight. reaction. Let I'll me do, know. I'll do it tonight. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I'll write you I'll a wait report. for the message tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Harris got a pretty good eco look at, with poles. Look at the wood economy by him. It's mm -hmm. insane. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, that's just yeah. Polish things, right? And he's going to click up a little bit sooner, maybe, than Viper. Although he does queue up a few more villagers and some more skirmishers. And Viper is taking this opportunity that Hera's got, given him. And he's going to sneak yep. away with the archers. But Hera actually might spot these archers with the spearmen. He does for one second. Does he notice it, though? I don't think he noticed that. I don't think he saw that. Nah, no way. I mean, Hera is Hera, but he's not like a robot, right? Oh, I hope that Hera doesn't delete those walls we were talking about at the exact second that Viper tries to come in here with the archers. Yeah. Looks like Viper's This could be so dangerous for Hera, but fortunately for him, he's walled. If he was not walled, he would, he would be dead right there. And Viper shows himself. And those men at arms, they are so valuable. They buy them so mm -hmm. much time, mm -hmm. and those archers can really position them very well, well right now. I mean, they even got a kill, but like Hera doesn't even have fletching. <laughs> so, yeah. Did he really care about that army? I don't think so. I think that was meant to hold the archers back in Viper's base. Yeah. Unfortunately for him, Viper actually snuck out as soon as he saw it, so it had the opposite effect. And Viper will have the advantage to Castle Age, which means he gets the additional range on his units. Look at Crossbow as well, and that's going to be really tough for Hera to stop. Just scared. Yeah, the thing is, Vi Viper really has to watch out here because he cannot afford losing those archers here. And mm -hmm. those Skirms can jump onto those archers very soon. I'm There's really surprised that Viper is out here. There's a lot of space, sense. though. There's not many choke points. There's a lot of space. Viper's got a big ego. And Viper's just going to come in here and try and micro against these. Armor is in, yeah. though, so he's just kind of tossing yeah. away some archers that probably should have saved. And Hera will target the weak ones. Say so thank you very much. The big uh, big advantage for Viper, though, was that those Skirms were not full HP. So therefore, he can pick them up. Uh, but yeah, he has to retreat as it. soon as possible. It's not like, worth it. Why not Viper just now. wait for the crossbow upgrade at some point? He could snipe yep. all of them down for free. Now he's got it. Yep. He does have more yep. crossbows at the front there. Hera will go for two extra TCs, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Viper adds extra TCs of his own. A little bit easier with Britons. Yep. And Monastery incoming for Hera right away as well. So he's very methodically with the defense he's going for. And Hera needs to pay a little bit more attention here on his main goal because those crossbows are about to breach in here. And those skirms, yeah, they will not run after those crossbows I love in the, the corner. Fact they will defend here. I love the fact Viper added a knight here. Yeah, Hera's gone for the it. monastery, but the knight is going to put him under all sorts of pressure. And as long as he hangs around yeah. his crossbows with that knight, the monks can't get it anywhere near that. Yeah. And now this is going to be really tough for both players because Hera 
he doesn't feel the issue because he's pulse, right? He's just mm -hmm. like, okay, I have to defend the the main things here. And uh, Viper on the other side, he will think like, okay, he needs to make things happen. But like, and that's this exactly is, what he's doing. This is perfect. And he discovers a hole next to that house. I don't think either player knew that hole was there until the knight ran what? through there. It seemed like the wood line went all the way to the house. Didn't happen. The thing is, yeah. like, even if Harris sits back in defense here, he has no space for full works, Jordan. Viper's keeping problem. him penned in here. Like, where is he even going to make that famous Polish eco? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Only space for two full works, and he's not on stone, so it's not like he can buy himself space with a castle. Yeah. He's just completely smothered. Yeah, this looks very tough for him right now, but he gets good conversions on, against those knights, though. And these help so, so much. Mm -hmm. And now the skirms can jump onto those uh, crossbows, and yeah, Viper is kind of forced to retreat here, Dave. Viper 3TC behind this, though, cons constantly adding to his eco. Hera finally buying himself enough space. It did cost him a lot, though. Yeah. I still prefer Hera's position. It just feels a little bit smoother. And he adds the full work. <laughs> That one is a little bit rushed here, but he should be able to get at least he, seven or eight He's points. only missing out on one farm there, right? Yeah. Uh, two farms, probably, I think. It's not that bad. Yeah, it, it's it's uh, manageable. Th what do you think about balancing full works by removing the plus five population they give you? Uh, I don't think it's the biggest balance. I think I would reduce the income they get not from 10 percent but like seven percent something like that i don't know i don't think that I, I don't i think it is better than five house population i'm just saying but like ah it's a deeper discussion right like i think definitely cost uh of the knights is way too cheap once you get the privileges tech right like mm -hmm. instead of making it like maybe make it f a lower percentage mm -hmm. for the for the night discount and keep the full works the way they are because at, at some point if you nerf the, nerf the full works too much poles don't really have that many tech options to go into yeah so it's tough that's why i'm saying like if you have eight percent instead of ten that's i think a good balance there <sighs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I love poles, man. I just love poles because it is so hard to make them work as well on open maps. It's mm -hmm. really, really tough. This monk's going to die. I've never seen anything more dead than this monk. It is really dead, Dave. He wet himself. It really was. I was at one point, I was like, I, I think... If only one shoots and this is on stand ground, I have hope for the monk. But it was just dead. It was just dead day. This is why we shouldn't think. Okay. <laughs> just lead with the intuition. <laughs> That's a, yeah, exactly. Just as a caster, all you have to do is say what's happening. <laughs> the skirmishers are walking towards the crossbows. The crossbows are walking away. Four town yeah. centers for Viper. Second stable for Viper. Light calf See, third in the mix stable. already for Viper already as well. Third this stable. looks like there's a lot of raiding potential coming in here from well, Viper. And Harris playing this super greedy, right? Well, like, like yeah, he was he's playing super greedy okay, at the beginning. Never. Then he invested into military when he needed it. Now he's playing greedy again because he only has 14 skirms. And he's in the middle of nowhere, Jordan, after he knew that Viper mm. had a stable. He's coming yeah. out here into the middle of of the map and he's gonna try and engage and fortunately for him the light cab haven't gotten any attacks in yet and he'll probably yeah. make it home with at least some of these skirmishers <laughs> it feels like the light cab don't really deal too much damage against the skirms i mean they should but they they had skirms have plus two armor remember that so yeah yeah they're yeah. doing like five damage per hit yeah the good thing with the light cab play is that you know you don't care about the monks here at all. So Hera is forced to finally switch into the knight here. And he's very close to get a castle up as well. So he is definitely flirting with that idea. It's just a matter of time. 
Viper's also kind of playing greedy in a sense. Like, he went for that fourth TC first, right? He was holding her in with the early military. He's gone for a few light cav, but still hasn't gotten stuff like ballistics. Yeah. For his crossbow army, and his economy looks fantastic behind it. So, this yeah. is just kind of a stalling maneuver from him as he goes for the university in the center. And now he's coming forward with a castle on that hill. Which is going to be a pretty brutal position for Harry to push back. Yeah, the thing is though, look at Harry's economy. It looks very, very strong and... I don't know, it doesn't feel like Hera is, uh, you know, at risk of losing anything oh. right now. Vip oh, the nice, nice Palisade Gate from Hera. Beautiful. Saving all the monks. Okay, lost one. All of them? But saving all of... Okay, maybe <laughs> all of them? Hey, last two. We shouldn't think. <laughs> Here comes the we privileges. Here comes the privileges yeah, from Hera. How many saves? I think. Five. Yeah. Why do you only say uh, privilege and not the first word? Because I'm not 100% sure on how to say the first word. That's a cast. Oh, I want to hear it now. Slata. Uh, I think it's Slata. I think. Slata. Slasha. Slata. Privileges. I have no idea. I don't know. You shouldn't. You shouldn't listen to my advice, is there? Yeah. Mm. Viper's not making a switch. He's not going up to Imp, and he's not making a uh, tech switch into Pikeman yet. So the Knights might be an issue for him. Hera's already yeah. got six in the queue, and Viper yeah. might just be overwhelmed at some point. Yeah, I think so. It's going to be very tough for him to fend off against those uh, those incoming night spams here, and those skirms are very close to getting on top of those crossbows as well, and this is not ideal for Hera. Uh, for, for Viper. Viper queues up more light cap. So what, he's just going to keep streaming them into the back of Hera's base, distracting him? Hoping yes, he can pick off the, the knights with the crossbow. Hera's adding more full works. Farms are getting a little bit sketchy now. <laughs> you saw what I was talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, I love that one. I love that one. I love that one. But I know, I know this. <laughs> I know this feeling too well, though. Yeah, I know it too well. Do you know it's this feeling fun. that Viper has right now where you think you're doing well and then suddenly mm -hmm. there's 20 Polish Knights pushing you back? Yeah. 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 It's not a good one. He's, he's switching to a, a Pikeman right now, but I don't think that switch is in time here, Dave. If he had walled up his base, it might have been. If he had a stone wall where those stables are, maybe mm -hmm. he could like force Hera to engage against him near that castle. But now yeah. he's going to have to be responding to stuff at the back of his base. And Hera yeah. doesn't care about this army because he can easily make another seven knights in an instant. Exactly. Exactly. Like, he doesn't care at all. Mm -hmm. And those knights... I mean, we're not talking about Imprilage against Castlage. We're talking about Castlage against Castlage. And mm -hmm. those knights are as good as you can have them in uh, Castlage for Pauls. And now even Hera goes up to Imprilage much faster than, than uh, Viper. It feels like... Dave, Viper will run out of steam here. Kind of seems like he invested a little bit too much into the light cab, right? Maybe mm. yeah, yeah. getting a little bit too cute Yeah. with the units. Viper, classic Viper, already 1,500 gold in the bank. <laughs> and he will just keep banking up that gold, saving it for a rainy day. We might be in a rainy day situation right now yeah. as more knights come in. This is... This is looking very tough. I mean, yes, the units of Viper will try to defend here, but uh, now with the Skirms incoming as well, the pikemen are completely evaporized, and those knights are having a field down, uh, day now. They, mm -hmm. This is just like, yeah, they, they, as you say, they, they don't mind. Even if they die, it's so easy to replenish them. <laughs> I like it. you made up a new word. I like it. Evaporized. <laughs> uh, that, that, that is not a. You could say what? vaporized. You could say evaporated. You could say evaporated. Oh, really? Yeah, but I've never heard of vaporized <laughs> before. <laughs> I like uh, it. Dude, I'm going to start 100%. using it. I'm going to start 100%. using it. I love it. <laughs> I love it, dude. Have you ever, like, heard someone make up a word and you're just, like, instantly, yeah, I want to use that word? <laughs> Whoa, I was 100% sure it is a word. 
I yeah. really thought that as a word. There's a lot of knights here from Hera, and there's yeah. not a whole lot from Viper, although he does still have 133 bills, and he will find the new TC from Hera. I don't think you'll be able to deny that, though. Still has a yeah. big crossbar. I mean, it probably doesn't want to give up with this pop being the way it is, but when he sees the Imperial Age from Hera, he's going to know that things are just... It's just trouble. Yeah. Ah, this is... This is just so rough for Viper. Mm -hmm. I mean, he still has the population lead, but yeah. his work efficiency, I mean, look at that, 40%. His, I mean, his momentum is just evaporized here. Yeah, <laughs> this is nothing. Dave. And you know, if you get evaporized, then you know you get evaporized. Mm -hmm. That is just the way it is, and you yeah. just call the GG here. Exactly. 69 Knights so, uh, produced from Hera, and they mm -hmm. just started production, like, Six or seven minutes ago. That's what you can do yep. with polls. Yep. Dave, Hera has put himself on the scoreboard mm -hmm. on this match. Do you think mm -hmm. we will see a comeback by him? Um, I don't know. I think Viper's actually playing pretty good here. I mean, he's kind of he's impressed me, especially with the early game there. I think the switch to Light Cav was just maybe he should have focused on going up to Imp. And the Hal switch earlier. Maybe you just like if it kind of seems like he thought he could catch Hera and still do additional damage and delay Hera from getting into the knights rather than preemptively trying to put himself in a position where he can counter the knights. If you know what yep. I'm saying. Yeah. Because once the poles flood of knights, you need help. Yeah, you need help. You need help. Yeah, or you cannot stop it anyway. Like, one of these two options. Also, the forward castle didn't end up working out for him. Yeah. Okay. We at least prevented the 3-0. Well, we didn't prevent it, but we are fortunate enough that the 3-0 is not happening. We will see at least a fourth game. And, uh, yeah, it's either going to be... Yucatan or Dave, our favorite map of the day. Costa Mountain? Costa Mountain. Ah. Costa Mountain. Okay. What do we have here? Let's see. Full screen. So, Portuguese has been used. Britain's has been used. Yeah. Uh, we still have Gujaras open. Gujaras open. What's what map are we going on to again? Coast Mountain, or are we going somewhere else? I don't know. It's either Yucatan or Coast Mountain. Okay, Yucatan or Coast Mountain. Okay. So Gujaras, how many herdables do you get on Yucatan? Do you get like a ton, or is it just hunt? I can't remember. Fourteen, fourteen, I think, or oh, sixteen, geez. something like that. Okay. Yeah, but the sheep are not that strong anymore in the mills. Yeah. Like it's logarithmic, right? So Berbers? Berbers probably for Coast the Mountain. Burgundians yeah. would be good on a map where you can wall up and get your eco upgrades. Saracens are interesting. I think it has to be but Burgundians it's probably on Burgundians. Yeah. And then from Viper's point of view, Gajara's... And then Hindustan, it's probably Gujaras, because Hindustanis, Lithuanians, you can pick both of those on Costa Mountain. Pretty Hasn't well. he used Hindustanis on... No, he hasn't. Harry used I'm Hindustanis sure on Costa Mountain last set. We no, haven't no, no, seen no, them no. from Viper yet. Am I blind? Uh, what? Oh, no, he used Spanish on Mega Random. Mm -hmm. And on Arabia Britons and Franks. Ah, okay. So he has Hindustanis, Gujaras, and what else? Uh, Lithuanians. Lithuanians. Yeah, we will not see Lithuanians. Oh, Lithuanians on Coast Mountain. Yeah, Lithuanians on Coast like, Mountain. Either Hindustanis or Lithuanians on Coast Mountain. And then we're looking at it's either Hindustanis or Gujaras on Yucatan, right? Yeah, yeah. I agree. So then you have to start thinking what's the better Civ matchup here? Like, 
if you're Hindustanis against Burgundians, is that better for you than Gujaras against Burgundians? I don't know. I really I don't know enough about the sip matchups for Gujaras. I think I'm still kind of lacking with that. I haven't seen too many it of them. It should be I would say it's better for Gujaras there. But it's also Hindustanis are dope as well with the extra range on the hand cannoneer. We see that Civ matchup sometimes on Arena where Hindustanis mm. play against Burgundians. Okay. Well, it should be interesting. Typical... Yeah. Oh. Dave, what's the temperature right now for you? Because I have minus one. Uh, I think it's it was like minus three or something earlier. It was actually okay. it's actually pretty mild here. So you <laughs> mild. <laughs> All the Spanish people be like, mild, minus three, what? It's pretty hot. Hmm. Berbers Lithuanians on Costa Mountain. Costa Mountain. Why does it not work? Oh, here we go. Okay. Are you in the game already, Dave? As I know, you are in the, mm -hmm. yeah, in I'm the game already, aren't you? Sorry, we were bobbing. Like the thing, the thing I noticed when we were in when we were in Hanover, Jordan, like it was only mm -hmm. I think it was only like minus five or something, but it felt so much colder because it was so dry there. I Did cannot... you notice that too when we were when we were I... there? It was so like bite. It was biting cold basically because it was so dry. Crazy. This is this is the typical thing. For me, like mm -hmm. I don't know winter other than that. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying for you minus three doesn't feel that cold, for example? No, it was like uh, minus five. No, I was like I went out without a coat when I went out earlier this morning. <laughs> I just had a sweater on. <laughs> went to the store, what? so like it wasn't there was snow on my car, but it didn't feel that cold, right? So crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I only know that dry cold and. It's just, I don't know. It's cold, man. Did you also go for a swim in the lake, Dave? No, no. Do you do ice bathing? Uh, I did when I was in Finland, and I I've done it a few times in Canada. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's not like a regular thing for me. I do enjoy, uh, jumping into like a really really cold water because you never feel quite as relaxed. As you do like after you get out of the water. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah. It's while so while relaxing. you're in the water, not. Relaxing. Well, it's just like the initial shock, right? And you have to be careful, yeah. I think, when you do that because shock yeah, is like a be. real thing when you go into cold water, your entire body seizes up and you have to make yeah. sure that you have something to hold on to. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. there's a risk yeah. of you just going under. <laughs> yeah. So. That's, it, it can be dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you have issues like body issues i don't know you're sick mm -hmm. or something like that mm -hmm. your body can be overwhelmed quite heavily all right so God. lithuanians against berbers viper yeah, already, with the, already with the dock up already with the dock up seven bills in the yeah. queue and fishing ships out fantastic my game doesn't load up as uh, oh. always oh and the trick with the spectator dashboard doesn't work by the way oh you just yeah have to restart, i'll just then yeah i will just quickly it's fine restart. nothing I'll, I'll explain it all to you viper awesome. the yellow on the right side of coast mountain he's gone for the dock early he's got two fishing ships out already because of the lithuanians he's gonna go up to fuel age soon hera just now placed in the dock and he's not making fishing ships and it looks like he's going for the same thing he went for against uh who did he play winchester? before winchester I'm here to back he's you also, off. He's also got a villager with Loom heading towards Viper's Dockville. And he tries to wall him in, but it doesn't work. Viper walls in Hera. But Hera's out. I'm trying to paint the picture. Am I painting it fine? I love it. Didn't sound convincing. I was fully committed with the dancing. Didn't sound convincing. I, I did. 
Okay, you can continue. I'm, I'm there. Okay, so uh, Hera is going up to Feudal Age first. Hera is now trying to chop a tree to get in towards Viper's Villager. Viper waiting for that and now walling in his Villager once again. Viper still without Loom going up to Feudal Age as he's having a little Villager battle with Hera. Hera now placing a dock next to the Villager from Viper. And Viper places his dock next to the dock from Hera. However, Hera is up to Feudal Age faster. So Viper's really got to consider whether he wants this dock next to the dock from Hera. Also still doesn't have Loom. Hera now trying to hold that Villager in from Viper with his camel. But Viper has the camel there trying to hold the Villager from Hera in. Are, are you in yet? Yes. Okay, cool. And this was Age of Empires 2 Radio.fm. <laughs> Night train. <laughs> <laughs> Viper's actually up to Feudal Age first. Uh, he's gonna be going for fire galleys here, but he can only afford one immediately. There is, there's the second one. And both players gonna escape unharmed with their villagers. Dave, you're a great entertainer. I love mm, it. Okay. Like, I, I could just stay here and just listen and let you do all the talking. I wouldn't mind that. Would you pay... Theoretically, of course, would you would you pay five ninety nine a month? To do I, that? I think all people who don't do that, while they enjoy your content, should think about it again because that's that's like <laughs> okay. such a good deal. <laughs> Sounds like a great deal to me. <laughs> yeah, like come on. Oh, Hera went galleys here. Ooh, okay. I, well, choice. he is Berbers, so his ships are faster. So he's gonna be very annoying with these. And he doesn't have any fish to protect. So this actually might be smarter, Jordan. If you think about it. He has nothing to protect. He just run around with these. As long as he's willing to micro them, yeah, Viper's okay. going to have such a headache. Yeah, that's true. Like, look at these slow-ass fire galleys trying to catch up to them. He can't. <laughs> slow-ass fire galleys. He can't. No, you cannot, you cannot touch them. That's, no. that's true. Game's paused. Oh, game has been paused. I think it was you. Oh, uh, Harris asking how many boars he has gotten oh. around the TC. Oh. So he didn't know course. the amount of boars on the map? Yeah, yeah right apparently. Up? Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't know as well. Yeah, I wouldn't either. It's, it's complicated. Or three-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I three ish it. i guess there I is the it. third one a kind of like a decent distance away like hera's got it too right <laughs> yeah here this one three ish yeah. it's a good answer right like if you answer uh, it like that yeah. you're always in a safe position yeah it's like hey i said three ish exactly could be two could be five God, this is just annoying. This look I'm getting secondhand tilt from watching Viper try and clear up these <laughs> galleys, bro. And he knows like he won't be able to save his fish. So what he's doing right now is just trying to pull them out of position so he can get the maximum amount of time from these fishing ships yeah. before they're dead. Yeah. Very nice move by Viper, but he will not invest any further into yeah. uh any uh, water play anymore, and that is exactly the right decision as well. Now, how is microing all these galleys really affected Hera's eco behind this? Doesn't look like too much. It's at a little bit of idle time. But that's nope. about it. He's going to come snipe the fish from Viper, and he's going to add fish of his own now. Hera adding walls now to his base. This time, he's going to be completely fine, as there is no forward aggression incoming by Viper. Mm -hmm. And those Berber villagers, pretty handy in these kind of maps as well, because you get the walking time, which is much higher compared to other maps. And their villagers working or walking faster definitely helps. Yep. Okay, Viper's got oh. scouts on the way. And there are villagers yeah. forward that are quite exposed, but Viper will need like three scouts to take out a couple villas over there. He's gonna try and hold the walls open here. It's only got one scout inside though. Yeah. Ooh, Hera with the camel involved. Viper might actually block the other villager incoming. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid, isn't it? It's just so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I love the camel shenanigans, man. Yeah. They're fun. They're hilarious. Yeah. Viper has gone for a demo raft 
inside of that dock. Yeah. yeah. So he's not over investing. Like... Hera doesn't know how many units are inside of that dock. Yeah. And Hera's just keeping the four fish or ships alive, but he's not going to add any fish behind this likely. So he doesn't want to over invest as now he loses another villager to the scouts from Viper. Yeah, it, it, it feels like four is the ideal number in his mm -hmm. head because against Winchester he had four as well. And how, I mean, he doesn't have to really rush the walls because, you know, he, he's fine. There's only scouts in the play now for Viper and he has the Spearman in common. So he's going to be completely fine here, especially with the walls. And Water is in his territory right now. So. And him going up to Castle Age with Berbers can be very dangerous for Viper. Mm -hmm. Viper will be going up to Castle Age shortly as well. Hera actually brings the galleys back. And he's not going to hang out too near to that. And Viper's going for that villager. Viper is now going for the villager, likely, with the demo. Demo! Build! Delete! Oh, uh, he almost had it! I think he could have had it because the vill was weak. I think so. Yeah. I think so, but that that needed to be a perfect uh, deletion. He might, of the, he might uh, get it now. Demo. He's going to yeah, get it will. now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But, uh, lose a scout along the way. We got excited. Yep. We definitely got excited. That was nice. How many relics are on uh, the map? Five, five. I think? Yeah, five. Yeah, definitely looks like that. And now Hera up to cast stage a little bit faster than Viper with a very, very healthy economy. So, I don't know. I don't mind Hera's position right now. Going uh, knights and camels in cast stage as Berbers. Against also, the Thranids. Uh, he's trapped With a camel that. in from Viper as well. So that's a little bit of a morale boost. Can't yeah. auto-scout to find the rest of the stuff on the map. Fantastic. Oh, wait. He doesn't have a second building. Oh. Well, he's up, and so is Viper. Yeah, but Viper was faster, 30 mm -hmm. seconds. Quite massive. So what do you, you open with here as Viper? Do you just open Knight, go with the monks? For, uh, it has to be the play. Relics, yeah. yeah. Monk Knight play, yeah. <clears throat> and if you're Hera, you do the same thing? Exactly. Yeah. And as Berbers, you will most likely focus heavily on camels there, I, I think suppose. It's, it's going to be really nice for Viper having these three scouts left over. Because Hera will probably add some monks as well. Yeah. And Hera That's actually very queuing, up, for Viper. Hera yeah, queuing up three scouts of his own. So he knows, he knows. how important it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. He knows how uh, important the relic fight especially is going to be. Mm -hmm. Because against Lithuanians... You know, relics are important, yes, but especially if you play against Lithuanians, it has to have a very high priority uh, in your strategy to get those or to fight for those. Viper is still a little bit ahead in resources collected total. Hera's catching up, though, and Hera has the fish, of course, so he's going to surpass yeah. him pretty soon, but those two villagers Viper killed in the eco time, idle economy time, earlier pro probably adding up also he had the fishing ships early mm -hmm. so just trying to explain because i popped into the stat screen there and it was counterintuitive seeing viper yeah. ahead in resources but yeah i think that'll shift pretty soon <laughs> viper trying to block the spearman that was yeah, uh, kind that. of cute but still the spearman is alive and can get some scouting information in while viper here on the other side how many relics does he see? He sees all of them except the one which is the closest to him. And uh, every relic in will give you a lot of help because Lithuanians, they get the extra attack on their he's cavalry even, units. Jordan, he's not even going into knights. He's just making yeah, pikemen. Pikemen. Pikemen monk. Interesting. Yeah. He will lose the vil because Hera got that light cav upgrade really early. And he's going to have yep. to be extremely um, careful with his monks. Also has revealed that pikeman upgrade to Hera. The Hera will know what's happening here. I think Hera yep. can get away with just a few monks, a few knights, some light cav, and then probably go into stone now. I think would be a good bet. And he's dropping that TC on the stone. You can get into yep. camel archers here earlier to deal with the pikeman. 
be pretty good. Yeah, the Camel Archer is going to be a unit which helps Burbers a lot against the uh, Pikeman, however. If I think about it, like, Elite Skirms for Lithuanian seems like a beautiful unit as well. Uh, the faster speed of the trash units also helps a lot. Also, the Pikeman, they're going to have, you know, good, good moment here against the Light Calf as well, because they're just a little bit faster. Both players will boom heavily and expand their economy. And I would not be surprised to see this game go into Imprilage. The problem with the the pikemen here is that like they can defend you, but they can't really push anywhere, right? And yep. Harris is going to hold Viper in with all this cavalry. And if he just makes his way on into a decent massive camel archer, even if the Lithuanian skirms are good, I'd still take a big ball of camel archers in the end yeah. game yeah. over skirmishers yeah. because you can negate the skirmishers with other tools like Hussar or whatnot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the conversion doesn't get in there for the monk. And now, Hera obviously, he is super aware of everything going uh, on here. And Ooh. oh, the knight got converted. How? Also kills two light cav, three, almost three light cav. Yeah. Viper getting some this good trades. Nice. However, Hera will see that monk there. Hera should be able to snipe that down. No, nope, pulls it away. And now he's going to give him another knight conversion. Oh, no, Hera. <laughs> He doesn't oh, get that the was, conversion. That How? That was that was that was close. But man, I thought the knight has been converted so long that it must be a conversion right mm -hmm. there. But mm -hmm. I was wrong here. And yeah, the relic is going for the monk. Doesn't get it. For, but the monk, the monk will get it. Harry doesn't have any light calf in the close by anymore, so yep. he will be fine there. But overall. Hera has a little bit of a lead here in terms of the villagers. Hera's snagging his second relic of the game. I think in the middle there. Does he see that? Well, now. He's going for the one near Viper's base. I think. Yeah, he's going all the way around for that Jordan. No, he's deciding that the middle one is probably better. But he's going to run into an army of pikemen. Unfortunate yep. series of events there for Hera. Yeah, this is very unfortunate for him, and uh, Viper will see it and be very, very satisfied to uh, pick off that monk here. And you can see, uh, most likely, both players will end up with two relics in the monastery. Uh, everyone has one so far, but yeah, it's just a matter of question who's going to pick off the one in the middle. And I think that's going to be very hard to, to judge right now, Dave. There's 1,200 gold in the bank for Viper. That's a little bit Loves too that, much. That. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he's buying food with that. Okay. Let's get yourself in a better position. Balance your economy a little bit. There's more than enough gold to be taken along this mountain area. Hera, still only six on stone and only 77 stone right now. So it feels to me like he's kind of delayed getting to a castle as he's losing a few light cap now in the back of Viper's base. A little bit sloppy there. What do you think? Do you think he should have like yep. went towards the castle earlier? Or do you think his timing is right? I think he should have had the castle earlier. Um, I, I guess th that's just the way Hera plays it, right? He just mm -hmm. loves to be on the edge of uh, doing everything. He wants to find the, op the, the optimal sweet spot all the time. Um, but yeah, just having Camel Archers out a bit earlier and, uh, you know, maybe having a bit of an worse impact on the economy. I understand that because you invest into stone instead of uh, getting other resources mm -hmm. that help you expanding economy even faster. But uh, just the camel arches will give you so much presence on the map. And uh, Viper would have to stay at, at home all the time because he cannot engage against those uh, camel arches. Well, here. this looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? This castle location. It's the same mm -hmm. kind of area mm -hmm. that Vinchester went against uh, against Hera in the previous yep. set. However, Viper is not placing this while Hera is already up to Imperial Age, and Hera definitely doesn't have a castle of his own yet. So this castle yep. from Viper will still be pretty decent, walling it off on the side. He actually bought the stone to go for a castle. Now Hera's buying stone of his own, and yep. he is going to try and make a castle up there, but he sees the castle from Viper now, and that's bad news. 
Yeah, you cannot engage there. Yeah, no chance. No commitment. However, a hero will be up faster than Privilege. And uh, Viper very late with the wheelbarrow up timing. While Hera already has handcord, he doesn't even have wheelbarrow yet. So that is quite a massive uh, deficit in the economy. Handcart and Berber villagers. Mm -hmm. And the economy for Hera is showing it. Got more resources collected now as he techs into the cavalry armor. Yep. And he is just going to start expanding his eco, I think, south. Start adding in some more farms here. Click up to Imperial Age, hopefully. I can't believe Viper is up before him. That hair would I, I don't first. understand that. How, how did that happen? I don't know. Market abuse, yeah. But that's something I didn't expect at all. Is Hera missing a second building? Okay, never mind. He has a castle here. And uh, now in the south side, also the pikemen, they have spotted the gold miners. So this is a very nice catch for Viper. Well, the villagers can run away quite quickly. So I think Hera is going to save those. <laughs> Look I at them. They are faster. They're faster <laughs> than the pikemen, man. <laughs> uh, they're not. They're not. But they're close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 1.6 against 1.21. Crazy. Love it. And now with the position build, being able to build lighties, mm -hmm. if you have to combine it, it's just uh, tough. Viper needs lighties, skirms, and halberdiers. That would be his ideal combination, I think. And luckily for him, Hera actually, I think Hera actually sold two or three hundred stone to get enough gold to click up. So he can't even go for a second castle yet. So yep. by the time like he's an imp, he might start building that castle. Mm -hmm. But the Treb War is going to be difficult to win downhill yeah. with less castles than your opponent. Exactly. Because Viper will probably get his up first over here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So one minute away from Imperial Age are both players. Uh, economy seems to be a little bit better for... And not necessarily because Viper has Wheelbarrow, uh, Heavy Plow and a Bowsaw, while Herod doesn't have that. So... That's definitely a huge thing, isn't it? Hera has the fishing ships too this entire time, and I think I think it's his eco upgrades have been just a little bit better. I think ha handcart and the early wheelbarrow timing Viper delayed that so long, probably better. You can see it reflected on the eco stats. Yeah, Hera's yeah, two thousand three hundred eco total ahead, yeah. so yeah. should be favored. Yeah. And now the raids are coming in. And uh, yeah, Viper has some pikemen here to defend, but he will have to chase after and those life cap all the time, and that's going to be so annoying. One of the most broken units in the game is making its way out of the field. These latest are disgusting. <laughs> they're so good. Campbell Man, Archers are great against them, but they're so good. Bro, they are so insanely strong. It's just unbelievable how strong they are. Good engagements again with Viper from the Pikeman. Hera's been tossing Lightcav in for a long time in this game, and Hera finally gets Hussar, immediately texts into Hussar in Imperial Age, and we all know what's coming. He's going to try and expand his food eco, going to try and raid Viper to death. Viper already with a defensive castle up at the top, and Viper actually losing a Treb. So he's going he to be the trap, yeah. behind in the Treb war to Hera, so Hera holding on. Yeah. He loses the trap here, and <laughs> I don't know. It, it's just very tough for him because Hera has all the mobility right now. He has the crucial upgrades. Okay, plus four armor missing on his Asters, but that's not the biggest deal. And uh, now, you know, he, he's fine. He's fine because he can always dictate the pace of the game. While Viper on the other side, he has to kind of try to make defense happen. And his economy is just going to be idle for quite some time here. Heavy Camel coming in for Hera. Viper's still repairing that castle. He did manage to wall up the Trebs, so the, the Hussar can't come in and snipe him again. Yeah. But Hera keeps kind of expanding his base. He's going for more stables, adding a castle in the south to keep his eco safe. And Viper is just teching into... Well, he's not really teching into any, anything. Has a few pikemen yeah. and a few latest. Yeah. And he doesn't really have the best economy right now. Viper does. I feel like latest are um, still even like elite. If you get elite latest, I feel like they're still not even that bad against heavy camel. No, he's they're, getting, they're he's getting like, latest yeah. right now. Like you can toss those yeah. into anything. 
and they will yeah. shred. Like, Lighties, they are such an amazing unit. It, it's just incredible. And they just shred, Dave. They absolutely shred. Mm -hmm. uh, Viper only has one cast remaining now. Yep. With that that's one going issue. down. And that's not the best for the <laughs> Lighties production. And con going for conscription now as well. So He needs to use is... some of that gold to buy stone, I think. Yeah, and that's exactly what he's going for as well. He needs to switch to Halberdiers as well. He cannot fight efficiently against those camels with only one cast in production. It just doesn't work. Okay, so Viper is and at now... 140 pop. Hera is pop capped. Exactly. Pop capped, 50 farms. Yep. Berber villagers on those farms, so they're going to be bringing in food quite quickly. He's now buying stone yep. himself. He's going up for a yep. castle where he wanted his initial castle. Finally. And... Viper is going for a counter raid with the latest, but remember, there's already a castle in the south there, and there's actually not. Well, there's a few villagers, but I don't know if he's gonna find all of them. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem for him, and uh, it feels like Hera, with the mobility he has and the population advantage, he has the full control of this game. Uh, he spots the raid on the south as well. And in the north, there are two castles, yes, but Hera doesn't really care too much about them. Never doubt uh, the Latus. Was... That's all I'm going to say. Huh? Never doubt Latus. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you never quite know. Yeah. This stupid yeah. unit can it's do. And Viper has the lead, and he's, he's got three relics, or sorry, two relics to back it up as well. So 20 base yep. attack that ignores armor. They, they're just shredding. Look mm -hmm. at that. It's just shredding. They even bye kill camels. all the heavy camels here. Bye bye. Oh, this is such a unit, such a scary unit to play against. It's just whether he can keep up with all the raids, because there's going to be a lot happening. If he had all the latest in one spot, he could win the fights. Hera now getting some good conversions, yeah. but they're not all in the same spot, right? He's got some yeah. in the south. He's got some trying to snipe those trebs so he can keep his uh, buildings alive. He's trying to snipe the bomber cannons. Huh. Hera's got monks there converting. Dave, what do you mean with try? If they focus on something, they will like, achieve it. Yeah, he just can't <laughs> no get enough. No matter what. Though. He just can't get enough. Yeah. Like, now he's taking the help, but look at Hera's eco behind this. Yeah. Just a massive leap there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Hera. Uh, wins the fourth game. Viper is forced to tap out of this one. And Dave, we managed to get. A 2-2 two -two here, so we will mm -hmm. have to go into the decider, game number 5, which is going to be Yucatan. So when you and said uh, Viper was going to get 3-0'd, yeah. you meant reverse swept. Yeah, the, like, my English is not that strong. Oh, right? your so, English is yeah, good, okay. It, how is it called? Reverse sweep? Yeah, yeah, he's going to he's gonna uh, get coast to mountain, is what uh, you Ah, okay, say. yeah, I wanted to say that Viper gets close, yeah. uh, coast to mountain, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his chances are being a, a vaporized. <laughs> Evaporize, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Do I really have to teach you English now as well? <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of new. <laughs> oh, God. Well, Hera definitely playing the third and fourth game to his standards. And, you know, that's also something we can see in the results. And yeah, game number five, Yucatan is going to be the map. Uh, we have Gujaras Hindustanis for Viper and Burgundians. And what is this? Saracens, yeah. Burgundian Saracens for Hera on Yucatan. Okay, Hindustanis or Gujaras? I, I would say Hindustanis against Burgundians, Dave. Yeah. That's what we will see. <sighs> Dave, I need to quickly go to the restroom. It's, you know. All right. It's, it's about time. <laughs> Be right back. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the followers. Tons of people here. I hope you're enjoying the show. <clears throat> Jordy's got to poop. Hey, be nice, okay? Be nice. Germans poop too. All right. Yo, what's up, Cobra? How's it going? I forgot we had that emote. <laughs> poo poo, pee poo, poo poo, shake. 
<laughs> do we still have pee poo poo poo? I can't remember if we do. <laughs> I can't remember. That emote is rough. Would you nuke Mars if it was up to you? I probably would, yeah. <laughs> I probably, I probably would. Why not? Why shouldn't I? Would you rather nuke a coast or a mountain? Probably a mountain to see how much of a, a dent I could put in it. Probably, it wouldn't be that much. What is this Coast to Mountain joke? I don't know. Now that Jordan is in here, what do you think Coast to Mountain means? Use your imagination, Mr. Flaccid. All right. Okay, you guys going, uh, are you guys cheering for Viper or Hera? Viper or Hera? <laughs> Hold salami for Hera. Skate park -ja for Viper. Viper? So many Vipers. Oh, my God. <laughs> skate park -ja for Viper. Hold salami for Hera. Oh, there's a lot of skate park chis in there. Oh, some salamis coming out. Okay. I like it. Big salami people here. Love myself a salami. <laughs> That's the dumbest emotes ever. If you don't have BTTV, I appreciate you all the same. If you do have it, you appreciate what's happening. Yo, Aqua Berry Dolphin, let's go. Thank you for the Prime. Appreciate it, dude. Welcome. Ex-Merchant as well. Thank you for the Prime. First two subs in a while here. Sheesh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. New subs, too. I'd love, love to see it. Just cut up a bunch of chorizo with some shitty Monterey Jack for the next one. Oh, so it's you have enough time for salami and cheese. I'm going to see the world's worst carrot in a box player tomorrow. Oh, you're going to see um fuck. What is his name? John Richardson. Vegas. Thank you for the twelve. That's a year. My dude, welcome back. I fucking love years. Where do you live at Dave? Canada at the Cobra 2011. When do you live, Cobra? Better say 2011. Have you watched The Last of Us yet? No, I have no plans. I didn't play the game, so why, would I, why am I watching the show? Maybe I'll get around to it eventually. I love booty. Okay, Pantless? All right. Way too comfortable Yee. here. Espresso! Thank you for the prime, my dude. Let's go. Espresso. Sending that prime. Espresso. My bank account. Express version. Imagining Cobra is born in 2011. He could easily be 12 already. <gasps> Wait, it's been 12 years since... Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's painful. Ow, that hurts. Like somewhere deep inside. That hurts. 2011 is 12 years Dave, ago. Dave, are you ready for the last game? Bro, 2011 is 12 years ago. Uh, that oh, hurts true. me in my soul. Why? I knew the numbers, but I didn't fully realize what was happening. But why does it hurt you in the soul? Because it's just so long. I can vividly remember 2011. Me as well. Anyway. There we go. But does that automatically make us old? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, Dave, Viper playing as Indestanis, Hair playing as 
Burgundians. So we got our answer, and uh, we're going to yep. be here for a while, Jordan. I think so. Settle in. <laughs> Settle in. Well, I'm not sure about that one, but I think it will take some time until I load the game again. So it could be an improvement then. Mm -hmm. Are you oh, the you're game not already? E oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. No, I, I I will not I will not even bother. Let's just click that shit. <laughs> just close the game and restart. Dude. No, I, I don't care. Like <laughs> viewers listen to bird songs all the time. I can I just cannot. You seem over it. It's our final. It's gone to another five game. Actually, JMBs have been really good for this, if I remember correctly. I, I I've like everyone has been blessed, right? Because yeah. it feels like the the sets most of the time go to a decider and yeah it's never been like uh how's the what's the opposite of reverse sweep like just a sweep yeah exactly a sweep right oh okay it's n never never really been a sweep it's always been like very close all the time dave hold on i'm <laughs> about to click second time let's go oh Okay, good. You can already start the casting deck if you <laughs> would like to. Like, it's not like uh, we're missing out, you know. No, just don't don't let me stop you. It's it's fine. You can you can go ahead. <laughs> What's the reverse of a reverse sweep? <laughs> <laughs> Really? Is, is that the, is that the one that kills you right now? <laughs> I was I was thinking in the direction of the unreverse sweep, but then I was like, that sounds a bit too complicated. Oh man, okay. Well, <clears throat> uh, both players going up to feudal age here. Hera's got a very wallable map. Extremely no. wallable. <laughs> really? <laughs> Look yeah. at that. And that, that is, is so wallable, dude. So wallable. Yeah. Crazy. I'm surprised Viper is even like trying to contest this at all, but I guess he's just now coming forward. The scout. No, he's seen it. No. He's seen it. He has. Yeah. He sees the map to its fullest potential, man. Mm -hmm. And now, <laughs> look at the way Viper plays. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going into the late game here. <laughs> I want to play as aggressive as possible. He's going man at arms. <laughs> it, mi it might surprise Hera, honestly. He's going to actually, he's going to steal a llama too. And uh, Hera just ca very casually. No loom, going up to Feudal H. And Viper's already coming around and Hera is just... He's just super lackadaisically building this barracks at the front. Yeah. You will see the villages on the gold, though. Mm -hmm. So he knows exactly that there is a man in arm rush most likely going to come because archer play as Hindustani seems very unlikely. Yeah. Viper is and doing something those... nice, though. He's splitting one over to the left side as he comes in with the scout. So Hera's going to expect the full attention over on that right side. And you actually might find some vills over here. Hera yep. getting loom at the right moment, though. Mm. Viper waits for the men at arms, and now the stable comes down and blocks out that uh, that militia. Damn. <laughs> that was uh, so far a very clutch hold by by Hera, mm -hmm. and he will not take any damage from those men at arms, Dave, because he walled himself very nicely, and he knows exactly where the men at arms are, so everything is chilled for him. He could have been punished so hard there. If Viper had gone yeah. to the left instead of the berries, if he had gone yeah. to the other berries at the mm. front of Hera's base, he could have caught three villagers without loom. Exactly. That would have been pretty... Yeah, that would have yeah, been brutal. Devastating for, for Hera right there. And Hera's actually added yeah. scouts behind this. So Hera will have some military and feudal as well. Didn't expect mm -hmm. to see it. I thought we would just have... like... walls. Or maybe even no yep. walls at all in a fast castle attempt from both, but yep. here we are. And Hera even adds two more scouts here to his to the fray, so he definitely wants to contest this. And there's uh, two spears and one archer coming as well, so Hera 
he will have to find a good answer against uh, this this army here because this this can be dangerous. An archer range needs to be an answer here. I think he can just add, keep adding scouts, right? No. 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 Don't think so. No, it won't work. You can abandon these berries at some point and just fall back to your TC. You don't care. Mm, yeah, the, the thing is that the scouts will really struggle to fight against that army. Three men at arms, two spearmen, no chance. You have to add this archer range. Archer range Dave, there. Can you please tell me what is the building right next to the mill? Uh, those are that's a house and a palisade wall. Huh. You Why? know exactly which one I mean. Like right next to the mill. Is this an English yeah, thing as well? I, I did already say he's adding in an archer range. I did say that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you said okay, okay. See, Dave, that's why you're the controller player. Mm. That's exactly why you're the controller player. I asked, I, know, you, I, I asked you if he couldn't just keep going scouts. I didn't say he needs to just keep going scouts. I asked you, the professional player, if he couldn't just keep going scouts. And honestly, Hera could just wall this army in from Viper. I'm, I'm really concerned that he was staying there, but he manages to retreat. And Hera's <laughs> back at his base with scouts. And this is the value that scouts and give you. Bye-bye, Archer. Exactly, and now that's very problematic for uh, for Viper. Mm -hmm. But the way the way he's playing, you know exactly that he just cannot be bothered to play the long game here. Yeah. Otherwise, you would wall much more. He's just like try and save this fill, but that means the rest of his eco is idle because he's desperately trying to save her. <laughs> what is, What is Viper doing? <laughs> he's lining he up. Doing? He's lining up. He's waiting to get inside. It's an exclu <laughs> It's a very exclusive club. That house. <laughs> And he saves the bill. He does save the bill, to be fair, but he sacrificed three more in the process. <laughs> yeah, that was not too bad, though. <laughs> oh, look at the... What? Look at the... Look at the village account right now for Viper. Yeah. 27 versus 32. Yeah, That's I think... devastating. <laughs> Viper sees... This uh, civ like uh, Burgundians on this map, and he's already kind of over it. <laughs> you alluded to that before. Yeah. Like, don't want to take this late game. Uh oh, he's counterattacked yeah. me. I'm behind an eco. Damn. Yeah. yeah. What do I do here? Yeah, I think all the the hopes of Viper's aggression working out have evaporized right now. Mm -hmm. And now the archers are going to get cleaned up as well. And so is that forward vill. I don't know what that was doing there. Maybe it was a waypoint bug from Viper sending that villager forward, but it dies to the scouts and Hera. Well, he can take this fight quite easily with scouts and skirmishers against this army yep. from Viper. And he's still adding more of those behind this. Yep. Plus he has the scouts second wood wait. upgrade and the first farm upgrade, which Viper doesn't have. No. Yeah, and now everything is going to get cleaned up here uh, from Viper, and I think this is the moment where Viper also might call the GG. Mm -hmm. In theory, uh, let's see, he still hangs for a tower. There. Okay, continues to play here. Mm -hmm. Respect it. He's he's getting cav armor. Yeah. No no scouts in the queue. No scouts in the queue. Did he mean to get? Infantry armor, infantry attack? No. He does have a stable. No scouts I'm in the queue. I'm surprised by that. Yeah, no, these, these spearmen are getting cleaned up as well. Dave, it feels like it is uh, the opposite of the sweep. The reverse sweep has happened. Mm -hmm. Yep. The big reversal. <laughs> 37 villagers for Hera, 34 for Viper, but Hera already has wheelbarrow. Oh boy, this is a yep. big difference. And Viper's gonna get one scout with armor. Yeah. This is definitely a very, very strong Viper gonna uh, try position and, like, for Hera right now. Wall this army in or something? I can see him doing it. He feels mm. like he has no other option. Yeah. <laughs> and Hera? He will be up in, in a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, already Wilbur in for him as well. I have a plow in for him as well in a moment. This looks just like a very beautiful uh, economy for him. And Viper on the other side, he is super open. Um, his economy doesn't look too too good right now. 
and he's still far away from Castle H himself. You sound kind of dejected. What what sounds dejected? <clears throat> Your voice. What 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 means that? Means like you're kind of like uh, kind of a little bit sad, you know, a little bit out of energy. I, it's yeah, just just a little bit. But it's it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, that's the response I would expect from a dejected person. Come the scouts from Viper. They have the armor. They have the armor, Jordan. They have the armor. They have the armor. Big they, clear up. They they are completely cleaning everything. And Dave, is this the moment of the comeback from the Viper? What do you think? No. Okay. <laughs> Actually, if we were if we were like in a big event, I was being paid. Like, like you know, there's potential. Yeah, Viper's got, <laughs> there is potential. Viper's there is got 700 potential. gold in the bank. If he gets a market down, maybe he can snowball <laughs> with the Hindustanis here. Maybe if Harry gets a little yeah. bit too greedy, doesn't produce military, Viper can get a military of his own and start pushing back through the uh, the center of the map. No. I, yeah. I like that. It like also that. is Viper. You know, he's the greatest player of all time. The greatest player to ever grace the Age of Empires yeah. 2. But as Jambi is not the biggest event. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> Don't make me stop like that. No. You were no. saying? <laughs> oh, God. No, Dave. make your make your point. I don't think Viper made it for you. Just make it make it anyway. <laughs> what I was trying to say is the following. Yeah. You said you said clearly no, but if this was a big event, you were trying to, you know, <clears throat> make it's all about the potential. There's a there's a tactic I learned. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The only thing that Nilly said he's ever learned from me, which I, I, I think is quite an accomplishment. Nilly's saying that he's learned something from you, you know? Yeah. Um yeah. is when it when someone's super far behind, I always get excited for the potential of them coming back, even if it's half of one percent. Because imagine how awesome it would be, and that's the way I keep myself mostly mentally engaged in games. I, yeah. Um. Otherwise, if I always just focus on who is ahead, then I would be unable to cast most of the time. It would just be so boring for me, right? So I always like have Whoa. that potential in the back of my head. Of what Whoa. if a comeback happened? You you have opened a new world for me right now. Yeah. Why why have you never shared shared that information with me before? I don't know. Is something <laughs> I don't know. I don't go was no, publicly you know. telling people that all the time. <laughs> you asked me what it would be like if it was a big event because that's the mindset I would be in where I'm genuinely like doing mental gymnastics to keep myself excited about something. Anyway, the Hera wins this and it was a good performance from Hera. I mean, reverse sweep. He's yeah. amazing. Yeah, for sure. Beautiful uh, performance by him. And uh, Dave, thank you so much for making this so much more exciting because casting with you is much more exciting than casting by myself so when i when i think of so, jmb so jordan i don't think of the games the games are great the sets are great i think of the quality time that i've spent with you yeah and the new I jokes guess. that we have <laughs> created exactly the swimming the, joke today... came from jmb and now coast to mountain oh my god <laughs> <laughs> evaporize uh <laughs> discrepancy <laughs> What's the what's the opposite of reverse sweep? <laughs> I felt like from all I have said in my life to you, that that one was the killer, right? Oh, you, because yeah. you, you you were silent for three minutes. Bro, that was like the that. punchline. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> what's the <that> punchline? <laughs> Dave is going to have a good night's sleep today. <laughs> Okay, Dave. Uh, there will be more in the, uh, next yeah. week, you know. So would would uh, be nice to have you there again. Yeah, man. I look forward to it. Thank you, Jordan. I awesome. Appreciate it. Thank dude. you so much, Dave. Ta have a good take day, care. Man. Bye, bye. Yeah. You too. Bye, bye.